Hey everyone, it is time for layout three. Um, this is, I'm not actually going to be able to create any, anything for you. I am just going to show you my layout. Um, so, but I'll walk you through some steps and so that you know. Um, we're using Home for Christmas and um, I use the black um, paper that had the script on it and the plaid mainly for this and so the black paper needs to be cut at five and a half by 12 and then a three by 12 so five and a half by 12 and three by 12 and the plaid is a five by ten and a seven by ten so five by ten seven by ten and you will um need them to uh two pieces of that plaid paper also i used my pine glitter and i um they're a half inch strip um by 12. i did cut one because i will talk about that when i show you the page so the first page i'm going to show you is the left hand page so I took design elements you know me I love this absolute love this stamp set it's one of those must-have stamp sets and I stamped linen ink and I stamped in the corners on the middle of the page middle as being middle when you put it in an album so you want it in this right hand side area and it's mainly just giving some texture to that white daisy cardstock i know i've um, built the other pages on uh french vanilla and mink but i wanted to show you what it looked like with white um i with so much white on this black i felt that um it needed to be um it needed to be a little bit um cleaner for lack of a better word and i'm looking at this and realizing that my black here should have been the five and a half by 12 and it's actually a six by 12. so you can do either or I went ahead and added this red piece of cardstock and I took my blending brush to it like I did in another uh, video um, for Home for Christmas. And this is a one and a half by 12. Once I laid my photo mats on here without it, I felt like the photo mats were floating too much and the red really kind of helped anchor the page very simple very easy to do this is the five by ten um, plaid piece so this is where i only trim just a smidge and a smidge up here so that this in here didn't have the bulk of the glitter paper so that when you're um, putting it in your album it helps with that weight we do have some sparkles on here um the clear sparkles they add enough dimension that you want to be careful um with how you do that on your layouts then i took the noel off our sticker sheet and i added some powder um i took my powder puff to it and just did it on this area so I can tuck a photo in here. Now, depending on your photos, you can keep the white um, in here or you can take those up. Well, that's why I only put a little bit of tack on them so that they're ready to go and they can move forward that way. Okay, so let me show you the left hand page so that means the left hand page is going to use the 3 by 12 in black and the 7 by 12 in 7 by 10 in 
bulk uh, plaid. I don't know why I say bulk. Anyway, so this is your three by 12. This is your seven by 10. And then this one, you could do the same thing, but you do have a little piece showing here. So I went ahead because I used my glitter, uh, actual glitter paper that I trimmed, then I just um, put it on there. So then again, I did the powder puff to the sticker so that I can put my photos. And I stamped, as you can see, just a faint border around here just to give it a little bit more texture to the page and not so flat looking. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, this is a pretty simple layout. It's really fun. It's all about, I don't know about you, but holidays are all about um, making sure that you have enough places for your photos because that is one of the seasons that we take lots of photos. And maybe you have different people come by or different events going on. You can showcase this easily by doing that, okay? Um, the other thing is, so let me put the two of these together so you can see that. And then it mows. And this is what I'm talking about. So when you're stamping, you're putting everything in the middle right here. Um, so you get the gist of how to create and how to make these. And I just think it's a nice complement to our Christmas um, layouts for the holidays. Again, please, please, please put your, use a journaling strips, document the date, the place. If you want to put the people in, that's great. But it, it will make it so much easier when you're looking at it, especially when, if you're going to put it in an album or you're not ready to put it in an album and you need to do that, you can, um, you can see what year it is right off. Let me, this is the journaling strips that we carry. And see, you get the thin, you get thick, you have bigger ones. So they're really nice because you can write and then cut them accordingly to what you need. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. It should be right down there in the bottom um, so that you know when I post and do things. If you like any of the elements or are interested in anything I talked about, of course, my website. Um, I am so enjoy making layouts for you guys. It is such a treat and such a pleasure. And so I look forward to seeing what paper you choose to create with. And um, best of all, we got more to come. So anyway, this will wrap up this series for um, Home for Christmas. But I look forward to some new layouts coming soon. All right, ladies, have a great one.